That's his plan. That's his promise. You can be a part of that by coming to the Messiah. The news that Dr. John MacArthur's family has confirmed the worst has shocked and dismayed Christians. This cherished preacher has been an unwavering advocate for biblical truth for many years. But now there's disturbing news that might alter the course of events. What is this terrible news, and how does it relate to the ministry he has worked so hard to establish? Join us as we analyze the implications of this devastating news for his future. The Impact and Legacies of MacArthur Among the most prominent figures in contemporary Christian thought, Dr. John MacArthur stands head and shoulders above the others. His unfaltering dedication to teaching the Word for more than half a century has made him an enduring figure in the Christian faith, beloved all around the world. The impact of his sermons and teachings on many lives has been immense, and his leadership at Grace Community Church is really remarkable. However, why does his impact last for so long? The style of consistency in his delivering is just as important as the content of his sermons. This ministry has always stood fast on the gospel message, refused to compromise, and refused to waver from its commitment to biblical purity. Like a rock unaffected by social forces, he remains firm at periods of profound moral and theological shifts. His unwavering commitment to this matter has garnered him praise from many and drawn criticism from others who disagree with his literal interpretation of Scripture. In addition to his impact in the pulpit, MacArthur has left an indelible mark on Christian education and international mission work. His alma mater, the Master's Seminary, trains pastors of the future to proclaim the gospel with the same fervor and conviction that MacArthur had when he preached it. To everyone interested in studying the Bible seriously, his writings, including commentaries, books, and online sermons, are indispensable. Whether you are a pastor seeking sermon material or a Christian seeking spiritual sustenance, you have probably come across MacArthur's writings at some point. His ministry is overshadowed by his incredible legacy. Some disturbing news has broken recently, and it has many rational people worried. Even if he has always given the impression of being unmoved, the guy now confronts difficulties that may determine the fate of his government. What exactly are these insights, and how do you think they will affect the religion he started? The world is waiting with bated breath to see if this is the pillar that will support Grace Community Church after he is gone. Signs of MacArthur's worsening health. For decades, John MacArthur has spoken with fierce conviction from the pulpit, inspiring listeners to have unwavering faith. However, others who kept a close eye on him in the last several years observed a spark ignite inside him. Subtle shifts like infrequent presence, mild hesitancy, and bouts of unusual weariness were the first symptoms. At what point did Christians begin to worry that their pastor had shown signs of physical weakness? How did they react? As usual, the first major fear occurred on a Sunday morning. Even though he was supposed to give his usual speech, MacArthur never made it to the platform. Word quickly spread like wildfire among the church that John MacArthur had been hospitalized after a whisper went around. His church and the larger Christian community were shocked by this man's sudden change in attitude after he had been so constant and unrelenting in his preaching. The first reports were vague, so naturally many wondered whether it was just a temporary illness or something more serious. Or was there a deeper, more significant issue occurring? Time passed, and the members of Grace Community Church gathered around their pastor in prayer. Congregants' accounts of MacArthur's activities and the impact of his teachings on their lives flooded social media with encouraging remarks. Praying for a quick recovery was a common concern among Christian leaders and people throughout the globe. There were no updates, just that one feeling of dread, but it was clear how much respect and regard he had for so many people. After much anticipation, the time had finally arrived. A message from MacArthur's church leaders. They reassured the audience that MacArthur was stable, but that his health problems were more severe than first believed. Even though we didn't know the exact details of his illness, we could tell this was no little setback. More and more details started to come in. 
and the realization that this was only the beginning of something much larger only added to the growing anxiety. The impact of the news story reached all corners of the globe. The fact that he was human came as a shock to one guy who seemed to be bigger than life to everyone around him. How could a person who had so resolutely preached the endurance and fortitude that religion provides be brought down by illness? The Christian community across the globe had come to rely on his teachings. So what did this mean for his ministry, his church, and their future? Many more questions and concerns sprang out as a result of those first reservations. While some feared MacArthur's time as pastor of Grace Community Church was coming to an end, others remained hopeful, praying that God would grant him a full recovery. It seemed apparent, however, that things were only going to get worse from here on out. The devout held on to hope, but the unknown continued to throw a pall over the apparently unstoppable ministry. However, these indicators of impending danger were only the first. What happened in the months that followed would fundamentally alter MacArthur's legacy. Would the Christian world be compelled to do the unspeakable if his health took a turn for the worse? The responses nevertheless failed miserably in providing any solace. MacArthur's condition diminishes. The world was unprepared for the news that eventually broke despite the prayers, hopes, and unwavering faith that had been expressed. Just as things were looking up, MacArthur's relatives revealed the worst. There was no longer any escaping the gravity of the issue. His health had begun to deteriorate. His ministry's followers were devastated by the news. That could be so weak when they were a spiritual powerhouse that brought millions closer to Christ. His relatives confirmed the news with sadness. It became public knowledge that MacArthur was dealing with significant and continuing health issues, but the specifics of these problems remained confidential. His health had deteriorated to an alarming degree, and his loved ones begged for prayers as they faced an increasingly formidable opponent. Those who have been under his spiritual direction for a long time may find it extremely difficult to accept. Even this seemingly unbreakable guy was now shattered in many ways. He was quite moved. Once hopeful, his church now confronted the harsh truth that their beloved pastor would never fully recover. Attempting to bear both their own sorrow and the necessary responsibility of guiding the flock was a heavy weight for the church leaders. There were few but heartfelt remarks from close relatives. A member of the family expressed their want for prayers at this very trying time, saying that the future was clouded by uncertainty. Having spent his life preaching the need of faith strengthening during trials, MacArthur must be going through a very trying time personally. Here he is, a man known for his resiliency and resolve, now subjected to the weakness of the court in these matters, a position he had rarely, if ever, been placed in in terms of the public eye. Even though he is in a critical condition, MacArthur's influence will be felt for a long time. Grace Community Church is still active in ministry, but there is a void that needs to be filled. The church's leadership tried their best, but they knew deep down that no one could replace this man who had led for more than half a century. However, there is more happening behind the scenes of this tragic news, things that the public has no idea about, and what happens next will alter everything, from Grace Community Church to the Christian landscape worldwide. Is there going to be a change in leadership? Are there lingering tensions that will eventually come to light? And most importantly, how will the Christian community react to this enormous change? Who knows what the future holds, but one thing is certain. This revelation has rocked evangelical Christianity to its core, and everyone is waiting for the storm to pass. MacArthur's devotion during his most difficult times. When his health began to decline, the unyielding old man clung on. His faith stood firm as an immovable mountain in the face of every turn and dire prediction. Observers bemoaned the sight of such a weak man, yet managed to muster such strength and unwavering faith. The answer, as MacArthur has preached for decades, was to submit completely to God's will. But how can one remain steadfast when one's body starts to fail? What can a man like MacArthur cling to when his life is on the line? The news of MacArthur's health problems spread, 
But one thing remained certain. He was not going to let this trial shake his faith. In his rare public appearances, he spoke with the calm assurance of someone who knew that God was in control, and his few words were powerful. God is sovereign. He is sovereign over everything that transpires. It's easy to speak faith when times are good. It's much harder to do so when times are tough. MacArthur, however, passes the test with flying colors. His words have not only encouraged his church, but also countless others throughout the world. As his congregation watches him weather this storm, they are deeply moved by his example. It's one thing to preach about faith and suffering when everyone else seems to be doing well, but it's another to put your sermons into action. MacArthur is a living testimony of strength in the storm of belief. He has preached for years about how trials refine our faith, but now he is walking through the fire himself, assuring his flock that his faith is more than words. It's a lifeline. Many have shared stories of how MacArthur's response to his health crisis has strengthened their faith. His consistent message, that God's plan is bigger than any individual trial, has taken root in new, deeper ways. I've been listening to Pastor John for years, said one member of Grace Community Church. What he's doing demonstrates that our faith is more than a slogan. It is a way of life. How much longer will MacArthur fight, was the unspoken concern of everyone. God quote S will would be done, no matter what. In many ways, this fight has been the last chapter in a lifetime of ministry to faith, truth, and the endurance of both. MacArthur's spirit remained as determined as ever, but his body had grown so weak. The congregation had prayed for his healing, but that couldn't change the fact that he was fighting for his life. However, the situation has taken a surprising turn due to the church's persistent prayers for their leader. As events unfold, it seems that their prayers are not yet unanswered. Additional updates could change MacArthur's future, and the faithful were clinging to any hope they could find. Grace Community Church, who's next in charge? But now that John MacArthur's health is a clear cloud over Grace Community Church's future, the question naturally arises, who will lead after MacArthur? The congregation has had to face the hard truth that their beloved pastor might not be able to continue leading in the same way. Despite the difficulty of this reality, Preparations have been made to ensure that the church's future will be just as solid and stable as the foundation MacArthur laid 50 years ago. The question is, is any leader truly capable of following in the footsteps of an icon like John MacArthur? During the process of planning the church's future, a handful of leaders have emerged who are prepared to guide the congregation through this uncertain time. Three of these, namely John Phil Johnson, Austin Duncan, and Mike Riccardi have emerged as potential successors. Johnson has been a consistent voice of continuity with profound theological understanding and close ties to MacArthur. Duncan, with his dynamic energy and pastoral heart, has cemented to the younger generation within the church. Riccardi, a longtime teaching elder, has garnered respect for his dedication to biblical truth. Collectively, they form a leadership team that is more than capable of continuing MacArthur's work. Although the leaders are competent, the question is whether the congregation will welcome them with the same fervor as they did MacArthur. John MacArthur is more than just a pastor. He is a symbol of unwavering commitment to truth. His influence permeated every aspect of Grace Community Church, and for many, the idea of moving forward without him seems insurmountable. Will the new leaders be able to fill the void that he has left behind, or will the congregation reject them altogether? The fact that MacArthur's leadership has always been deeply personal makes it even more challenging. His teachings were more than just sermons. They breathed life into the church. His ministry was based on the unwavering teaching of God's word, and his personal investment in the lives of his flock has left an everlasting impression. It would necessitate strong leadership to assume that role and bring the same level of passion, commitment, and spiritual depth that MacArthur has shown throughout the years. This church isn't built on a single man, said one elder. It's built on the truth of God's word. Despite uncertainties, Grace Community Church is committed to holding on to the values MacArthur installed on it. 
The congregation knows well that even though leaders come and go, the truth of Scripture, which MacArthur so deeply cherished, is the same. Grace Community Church has no plans to stray from the sure biblical foundation he laid. The question that remains unanswered is whether this change will be enough to succeed John MacArthur as a pulpit leader. Time will tell. In the meantime, the church is in a time of mourning and contemplation, cognizant that MacArthur's legacy will endure long after his tenure ends. However, now that everything is set up, there is another development that might alter the course of events. John MacArthur has not let the weight of his health condition silence his voice of gratitude. His recent remarks to his congregation and followers worldwide were not only sincere, but profoundly moving. His appreciation for those who have supported him during this difficult time remains front and center, even in the face of adversity. The Christian community has stood by MacArthur through this ordeal, and he hasn't been slow to recognize the efficacy of their prayers. I'm living proof of the grace of God, sustained by your intercession. MacArthur expressed his deep gratitude in an emotionally charged statement, not only to his Grace Community Church family, but also to the countless others who have sent prayers and encouraging messages from all over the world. Rather than viewing his battle with health as something to be mourned, MacArthur views it as a continual opportunity to witness God's work in his life. Despite his weakness, he reminds everyone that it is not the body but the soul and spirit that God strengthens. This faith, which he always preached, was evident in every word he spoke. Even though his health is failing, MacArthur's words are encouraging and continue to inspire even now. His thankfulness is not an individual feeling, but a call to all people to trust God's plan, no matter how bad things get. But there's more to this unfolding story that continues to captivate his followers all over the world, even as he shares his thanks. What is it about John MacArthur's ministry that has had such a profound and enduring effect on Christianity? His teachings, which are based on scripture, have impacted millions of people all over the world. His sermons have gone beyond national boundaries and cultural barriers, and his books have provided believers with theological clarity. For more than half a century, MacArthur has stood firm in his defense of biblical truth, refusing to bend to the whims of secular culture. One of his most famous traits is his unwavering dedication to expository preaching, which he uses to build a faithful congregation and encourage pastors all over the world to do the same. Through his messages, which have touched the hearts of both longtime Christians and those just coming to faith, MacArthur has left a legacy that will be felt for generations to come. With a legacy that extends far beyond the printed page, MacArthur's teachings on faith, truth, and hope have guided his ministry from the beginning. His works, like the MacArthur Study Bible, are treasured as essential resources for understanding God's Word. MacArthur also founded the Master's Seminary and authored more than 150 books which have had a tremendous impact on Christianity. Though his legacy will live on at Grace Community Church, the issue of how he will be succeeded lingers as we consider the immense effect of his career so far. We can only wait to see how God's plan plays out, so like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on this unfolding journey. As we close this chapter, one thing is certain, John MacArthur's legacy will last. The question is, what will happen next for Grace Community Church and the global Christian community? His ministry may change, but the seeds he planted will keep growing. 